for this question, we have transitions right between three energy level for a particular atom. Okay, two of the spectral lines right, the shortest and longest wavelengths lambda two, lambda lambda one and two. We know right that delta E is equals to H C over lambda. Okay, so with that right, let's draw in the uh, energy level. So once again right, I always draw in a zero because I want to teach you that uh, zero is never involved. Okay, and all these states that are involved, right, are always the uh, bound states. They are negative. Uh, means that, that these electrons are trapped by the atom. They are not free to move about. Okay, so we have uh, these three lines here. So the largest wavelength, right, is lambda 2. So lambda 2, right, must be the uh, smallest transition. Okay, so this energy gap, right, is equals to Hc over lambda 2. The shortest wavelength lambda 1 must be this one. Okay, so this Hc over lambda 1. So the missing one, right, will be here. Oh, for here, right, we just call it uh, lambda 3. So you can see, right, that the uh, energy gap. Okay, so let, let's just call this uh, delta E1. Oh, and call this, right, delta E2. And call this delta E3. So we have, right, Delta E1 is actually equals, you see we are talking about the gap, this is the biggest gap, is equals to the sum of the other two gap. Yeah, you, you can skip this step, I mean you can straight away write uh, HC over lambda 1 equals HC over lambda 2 plus HC over lambda 3. Okay, then uh, you have 1 over, we, we want to find lambda 3, so let's make that a subject. 1 over lambda 1 minus 1 over lambda 2. Combine the right hand side, the two fraction, you have lambda 2 minus lambda 1 over lambda 1, lambda 2. Finally, flip over. So that gives you lambda 1, lambda 2, the product divided by the difference. Okay? And answer is D.